Alrighty guys, welcome back to another walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. We are here at Padada RV Center here in Tucson with this beautiful overcast day, a little bit of rain. Today we're looking at a 2007 Tiffin Allegro Bay 37 DB. Now this is not a diesel, this is a gas coach. It's a double slide, but it's not bad. I mean, it's got a great little floor plan. It's about 38 feet overall, and we're gonna give her a good look. I'm first off, and let me go to each, each corner here and let you guys see that. You can see we have an electric awning right there, comes out with the push of a button, a good amount of storage space. No, no full pass-throughs up front because the uh, slide comes out with some compartments. This is a uh, workhorse chassis with the Chevy 8.1 liter Vortec paired with the Allison transmission. Got a 5,000 pound hitch on the back with a seven pin connector. There's both your slides and slide toppers with metal covers. Now this coach does also come with a driver entry door, which is very cool. There is all those compartments I was telling you about. You can see there's no storage in between there. It's just all one massive compartment there. All right, well, let's start the exterior walk. Check out all the compartments and the paint and tires, things like that. Small little hood access area. Won't really be replacing much, mainly just checking the oil and some fluids. Now, like I said, electric on, it comes out with a push of a button. It does have a metal cover and looks like it is a weather pro. No rips, no tears from what I see. No LED strip over here, something to point out. Now your tires, 5219 Michelin X tires, 235 ADR, 22.5. All right, so before we continue on through the compartments, I want to show you the paint. The paint does have some lacquer checking in it, just from, you know, excessive sun. And it's, I mean, it's solid throughout. It is a little dirty. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, just got some rain. But you will see some of those kind of cracks in the darker paint. If we look here at the beige and like, what do you want to call that? A grayish maybe. It looks great. It really does. But your black does have some of that checking in it. Fiberglass check. First compartment. That does have a secondary awning control in there. Now we see a central vac system in the middle compartment there. A little bit of storage up above. And some power if you want to put in a TV. Another little small thing here. I'm not sure what this cutout is. It looks like it could have been for a speaker because you do have hookups there. But that's a complete guess. See that paint. 31.3 gallons on the propane. See below that you do have a leveling jack. I'm assuming those cutouts aren't for a speaker because there's one back here, probably a ventilation. Little screen for the front, and then a hose. A little small storage back there. We do have a little gouge right here. We're gonna patch this up, make it look a little bit better, but it is there. Fuel fill in the rear, I do kind of like that. I'm gonna show you the roof, let me jump up there. Here's the roof, double AC, whole lot of skylights, and then a satellite all the way up there. Not sure if that's still up to date to what you need, but you got all the wiring if need be. All right, I do have the generator running. 50 amp power service there. Looks like majority of your filter, bypasses, flushes. 7,000 does run off of gas. I gotta fix one strut in this dump station. There's your dump station. And this compartment does have a little pop-up door there. If you have something really long that you can't seem to fit in between those rails, you can put it right there. Here's that other long compartment right here. It comes out with the slide. I'm gonna show you paint on this side, kind of the same concept on the dark. And you see this red right when it goes to the beige. Back to normal. And then of course your entry door. A little bit of an aggressive step to get in, but you still can if you want. And that right there is the exterior. Why don't we jump inside and see what's going on in there. Three electric steps that come out. 
and you have an area for batteries right under there right when we walk into the left here got a couple light controls battery disconnect and then your awning key holder a pop-up leaf and a handrail right it's your first kind of peak right when we walk in let me go uh let me go to all these corners so you can get a pretty decent look at what this coach looks like. We're going to start in this corner right here. All right, standing in front of the passenger seat right here. You can see we got your massive slide right there for the galley. A little bit of wallpaper peeling, not water damage, just from that heat. All right, let's go to the other set. Sitting in the driver's seat. Let's go to the bedroom. Standing in the back right corner, as you can see, we were just all the way up there. Got your walk-through bathroom, couple pocket doors, bed, of course. And then the front of the bed. Of course, all your closetry. All right, let's head back up front and check out some of these storage areas and what's all in the coach. So we will start up front. First thing I want to point out, that generator. 23 hours on it starts up like a dream hardly ever used emergency start light controls grade brake like i said workhorse chassis 74 198 on the miles backup camera see your levelers right there it is have auto leveling a couple shades up front and that's really about it here now we do also have in the in the door a little noisy but you got yourself a power window i don't know i just love that your actual seat seems to be in pretty good condition they are flex steel seats so they got the extra cushioning a little bit of the stress going on up top but really for a coach that's 14 years old they're not bad at all not like uh, some of them thor seats you'll see down below, you can see some power hookups for the passenger and a, of course, a little cup holder and a little pet window. And you know what? If you ever want to do your makeup on the road, you can. Up above, there's two small storages like that. An area for your multi-disc DVD player, because those are crucial these days. TV was a tube TV up here. CRT has been upgraded. There's just a big old hole back there. You can, you know, some people put little lifts on them, um, but you can still fit a 32 inch flat screen in there. Area for the, probably all that satellite stuff. All right. And we got two other storage compartments right here above the little recliner chair. And then in there, you also have a slide control. I was looking for that for so long and your inverter kind of control panel. Like I said, your seating in here, besides the two front seats, which do turn, you have this little recliner, a three cushion couch, and then a freestanding table. The two cushion, or the three cushion couch is a sleeper, and I'll show you that in a second. I'm pretty sure it's a pullout. You have six storage compartments above. Those three are connected. These three are connected. Okay. So it's actually, a, a, a triple, I, I think a trifold. So you bring it out from the back and it turns into a sleeper on the cushions. One thing also to point out in this coach, previous owner did upgrade all the shades. They probably had some just basic day and nighttime shades. They have these interesting things in here now. Um, you can put them up, but they don't, they're really meant to just stay down the whole time. They were probably want to be a little bit more private. Like I said, all these storages are connected for these three and those three. Down below the dinette, there's not a sleeper, of course. Do have a little bit of storage there, and then a little bit of storage under also. This is all part of the slide, so this lifts up and comes in. And just a, just a hair extra extension space there for the dinette. Here's my spec sheet. So you're selling it for 53. All right, now we're gonna turn around and check out the kitchen. So, solid surface countertops, real backslash back there, lots of storage, a nice little leaf extension with your actual solid surface covers, which is cool. So it gives you just a little bit more storage space. Sponge drawer. And down below. No oven in this coach. So you do have a convection right above us. 
And then under here, you have your inlaid two burner gas stove top. Not a three, it is a two. And then finally, last couple storages in here. So no pantry storage and food storage and dish storage. In the kitchen is always a big deal. Little drawer under the four-door fridge. It's a stainless steel finish, nor cold. Should have an ice maker. And of course, your bottom actual fridge portion. This is a propane fridge. And of course, I say there should be an ice maker in this. One time there isn't. No ice maker in this. And then, before we finally make it to your actual bedroom, this is where your real pantry is. And this, they look like they added a couple shelves to make it more useful. That central vac system that we saw down below has a connection right there, right next to this drawer right there. We do have one pocket door to give you a master suite into this bathroom or another pocket door to shut off the master from the actual bathroom. Now it is a split bathroom. You got your shower and of course your nice little extra counter space vanity here with a massive sink. Medicine cabinet up top, four of those drawers. And finally, not much storage down below with that Water tank, water heater, whatever that is right there. Decent sized shower. I'm 5'9", I can easily fit in there. And then inside the actual kind of commode area, we do have China toilet down there, but there's another vanity, which is cool. So you have a dual sink. Somebody can be getting ready outside. Somebody in the toilet room. Fantastic fan also above and above in the actual bathroom. That's cool. Last but not least here in terms of the walkthrough, let's check out the bedroom. So you can see how much just cabinetry they have right here. Two massive wardrobes there. And then the other slide, as you can see by that silver trimming right there. So the bed is a queen bed, does come in with the push of a button. That one is on an inverter, storage there very very similar storage up above where they are all connected not super deep probably about 24 inches it looks like i can't remember if there's storage under the bed there is and there's your extra two seats all right two drawers under the wardrobes on top of that you do have just these massive massive wardrobes if you're wondering no that was not standard previous owner put in a couple extra pieces of wood that he didn't want to sand or stain and then two of those drawers you have an area for a combo washer dryer unit you could probably fit a stack in here if you did just a little bit of cabinetry work but as we can see plenty of space there that false wall for those water lines and then up above even more space down below, another similar storage, like under the wardrobes. And then you have all of this. So area TV goes in that compartment. Storage up above. Storage all over here. This should be, I think, a clothes hamper. Yeah. Couple connections. AC, slide, light, power. Breaker box. Small storage there with your paperwork. A DVD player or something goes there probably and then finally they did have a TV up here and decided to go with more storage yeah, who watches TV in the bedroom besides just about everybody all right there's your quick walkthrough last and definitely least I guess at this point let me show you with this coach in travel mode we're gonna put all the slides in and check it out from the inside now I'll be right back Standing in the bathroom, you see that slide cozies up right against all those cabinets. You do still have access to the bed. Full access to the bathroom, the fridge, the kitchen, a dinette. 
Here's the dinette slide as you can see to the left. We are in. Still, plenty of access walkway. Plenty of room if you put the recliner cushion in. There you go. One more look from the outside, I'll let you guys go. Here's the side that's gonna look just a little bit different than the beginning of the video. See, both our slides are in, nice and clean. And then on the other side, no slides on this side, but the awnings and all the compartments are shut. There you go. 2007 Tiffin Allegro Bay 37DB 52995 located in Tucson, Arizona at Padata RV Center. If you guys got any questions, give me a call, shoot me a text, whatever you need, an email, all the info will be down below. I look forward to helping you out. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.